of for sale in our vehicle max we have a beautiful 2010 Cadillac SRX with only 32,000 miles pearl white on the outside with tan leather interior completely loaded up with factory navigation color backup camera factory panoramic moonroof parking sensors in the front and rear bumper parking um, excuse me parking uh, sensors in the front and rear bumper power tailgate still under the balance of a uh, manufacturer's uh, warranty. It has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website vehiclemax.net. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida 33142 is your zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. One of the many features in this vehicle is a remote start. And I'll demonstrate that for you now. The car has to be locked. Press and hold the little circle here. and the car starts right up. This is a really neat feature, especially in the summer when it's nice and hot outside. As long as you had the air conditioning on, when you last left the vehicle, when the vehicle comes on, so will the AC and it'll cool down the car for you. In the winter, the opposite. As long as you had the heater when you last, uh, on, when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the heater, and when it reaches enough temperature, it'll warm up the car for you. When you're ready to drive off, just walk up to the vehicle, open the door, uh, press the uh, start button, and you're ready to drive off. If you change your mind and want to turn it off, just simply come over here. All right. All right, this car has the intelligent type key. I'll show you how this works. Uh, you never really have to take it out of your pocket. When you approach the vehicle and you get close enough, the vehicle is going to sense that the key is nearby. And all you got to do is pull open the handle and the car, oops, they don't have it programmed to do it that way. Uh, th there's a way to program it so you can do it that way. You have to, right now they have it where you have to do it manually. But there's a way to program it when you walk up to the vehicle, it will unlock. And when you walk away from it, you set the timer, I think it's about 10 seconds or so, the vehicle will shut down on its own. But whoever had a program did not have it, it I guess it wasn't their preference. Um, but you can have it done that way, I assure you. Okay, uh, the door panels are shale and brownstone or beige and um, brown on the top with the wood trimming. You got also a power tailgate right here on the um, door panel and you can also open the tailgate with the uh, remote control. Of course you got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel, power mirrors. You got power folding mirrors also. You got memory seats for up to two drivers. Dual power seat, power reclining and lumbar support. You got curtain side airbags as well as seat side airbags. Manual tilt wheel. Automatic headlights that come on the sunset and come off the sunrise. Leather wrapped and wood trim steering wheel. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker. Let me get, go ahead and get inside, get it started for you. Okay, once you get inside the vehicle, remember the key's still in my pocket. All you gotta do is step on the brake and hit the push button start. You don't have to hold the switch, you just press it. All right, well, our navigation boots up. Let me lower the fan a little bit so you can hear me talk. All right, there's your navigation. Okay, that's good right there. All right, let's start off by um, uh, by showing you the panoramic moonroof, and so that way we'll get a little bit of lighting. Okay, first we're gonna slide the shade. It's a one touch. You don't have to hold the switch. And it's a large panoramic moonroof for the color, maybe I think ultra view. And as you can see, it encompasses about 80% of the roof. Now we're going to open up the roof here. It's also a one touch. And you can actually make it go a little further back by tapping on it again. All right, we'll leave it open for the duration of the video for a little bit of lighting. Okay, so now I'm going to put the vehicle in reverse so you can see the backup camera. And there's your um, full color backup camera. And it's got parking guidelines. And what I mean by that is, by the way, I'm going to turn the steering wheel now. You're going to hear a rubbing sound. That is the tires rubbing against our epoxy flooring. I don't want you to think you're hearing a problem. All right. 
barely hear it. And um, that just goes to show you, it's turning, showing you where you're heading, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in the middle. And uh, this, along with the parking uh, sensors in the front and rear bumper, should help you avoid any accidents. Put it back in park. All right, if you're not using the navigation screen, you can also retract it. Put it back down like that. Okay, well, we'll leave it up for just for now, since we're not really moving. All right, um, let's go ahead and set up the click on navigation. And now let's uh, let's go ahead and listen to the uh, to the Bose stereo sound system. Okay, you have controls for the Bose stereo sound system right here. Raise the volume. Lower the volume here. You can mute it here. Okay. Uh, this button here is to navigate by your preset stations. And those are the ones that you said here. Hold on a second here. Let's change it. To, okay. Those are the ones that are set down here, which of course can be changed. All right. To your, to your the ones that you prefer. Once you pair your phone, uh, this is going to serve as your Bluetooth controls. Pick up the phone here, hang it up over here. Um, and then also, when you're not using the phone, this is your voice command button right up in the top here. Okay, you got cruise control on the left hand side of the steering wheel. You got also heated seats. By the way, we got dual climate control, and I've got them both now at, um, at maximum low. Okay, but let's say I want to put the passenger side, uh, let's say uh, 67 there. And the driver's side says it's a six, uh, maximum low, which what that means is that the AC vents on this side of the vehicle will blow at 67, while the ones over here and here will blow at maximum low. I'm gonna go ahead and put them both back down to max low because it's nice and hot today. All right, we got heated seats also. All right, high, medium, low, and off. Okay, um, get a, uh, a leather wrap steering wheel steering wheel excuse me a leather wrap shift knob with wood trimming okay and uh, it does have um, a uh, automatic transmission it has a manual shifting mode and I'll show you how that goes reverse neutral and drive and that's how you're gonna drive it 99% of the time but if you want to make it shift manually you push the lever over to the left and then you uh, you'll see the, pu the plus and minus here on the D so now to shift up you would tap up to shift down you would tap down that's your manual shifting mode. Let me show you what that looks like on your display over here. I put it back on drive, so you can see here. Okay, we're on drive now. So you push the lever over to the left, and above that M, a one is gonna come, okay? That's just to let you know that we are in first gear. So I tap up to shift up, tap down to shift down, okay? Right now it was in sport mode. I just took it off, now it says sport mode off. I'm gonna put it back on sport mode so you can see what it looks like and it tells you sport mode on and again lights up above the M okay alright if that doesn't interest you just shift back up to the D and the uh, transmission will do all the shifting for you alright uh, before I put the shifter knob you got some storage up here alright and a cigarette lighter adapter in there okay put it back in park alright um, this button here to disable your parking sensors this one here is to disable your traction control. This here is your uh, electronic parking brake. If you pull it up, it engages the parking brake. If you push it down, it releases the parking brake. All right, um, the car has 32,716 miles. It's running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm gonna rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly. And that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine tune, no maintenance tune, nothing like that. Everything is running to perfection. The only two lights that you have on there, the red light is a seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. And the green light is General Motors daytime driving lights. Okay. Got a nice analog clock up here in the center. Also volume and tuning. Power door locks. Okay. Again, I told you to retract the, um, the screen. You just press here. And when you turn off the car, the screen is also going to go down. And then up here it shows you like a summary. shows you what station you're in and what music is playing. And also the outside temperature. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Uh, okay. Um, it's, this vehicle has an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor up here that senses bright light. So if somebody puts their high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. It is equipped with OnStar. If you purchase this vehicle from us, you will get a 90-day free trial uh, for OnStar 
at no cost to you. And let me tell you what the main features on on uh, OnStar are. For example, if your if your airbags deploy, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch uh, dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. <coughs> Also, if you have any other kind of emergency, press the red button. The OnStar Center will come on and assist you with that emergency. Um, if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, which in this vehicle is nearly impossible because of the intelligent key, they provide you with a 24-hour number. You call that number, identify yourself. Once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. All right. Um, uh, if you uh, are lost and need directions, you can press the blue OnStar button. The OnStar Center will come on and assist you with that emergency. With that, the OnStar Center will come on and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. For emergencies, you press the red button. Um, if your check engine light comes on, uh, press the blue OnStar button, and they can diagnose the vehicle remotely to tell you what the problem is and how to take care of it. They also have roadside assistance, concierge service, and a number of other features. For more details, visit OnStar.com. Up in the top here is your um, home link or universal garage door opener where you can program with the three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. Up in the top here you get map lights on either side, dome light controls, and of course the moonroof sliding and the power shade that I showed you earlier. Okay, you get uh, vanity mirrors with lighting and uh, your main glove box is over here. And in there is the owner's manual with its casing and all supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation and also OnStar details and so and so on. Okay, um, you got a little uh, coin tray here, cup holders. Where you rest your elbow here in the center console, you got a two-tiered storage, your top tier on this button, bottom tier on this button. Top tier is just a small pocket there, bottom tier, it's a little deeper. And down there, you have the uh, cigarette lighter adapter on the right, and in the center is your auxiliary port for your iPod, and on the left is your USB port. Okay, uh, on the side of the steering wheel here, this button is for your power pedal option. If you push it forward, the pedals will move forward away from you. If you push it back, they'll move toward you. And this comes in really handy when you have a very tall driver or a very short driver. Leather wrap steering wheel and wood trimmed, and I'll pan around it nice and slow so you can see it's in perfect shape. In the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and always closed on Sundays. All right, we're almost done up in the front here. Um, power windows are one touch, meaning you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down. Okay, power folding mirrors. Okay. Um, okay, so pretty much we're done up in the front, I believe, here. If I miss something, feel free to call me at 305-218-5462. I'll be glad to assist you and uh, check any, in, you know, double check any questions you might have. Okay, to turn off the vehicle, just hit the stop button. You don't even have to step on a brake. Remember, the key uh, has never left my pocket. Now, um, um, you can remember, you can program the door to auto lock and also to auto open when you approach the vehicle. But um, right now, the person who had it before didn't program it, and I don't want to get into that. That takes a little bit longer than I want to do on this video. Uh, to close the door now, uh, the only uh, the way it's set up now, you have to t pull the remote out of your pocket and hit the lock button, okay? But once you program it, all you got to do is walk away from it, and the doors will lock in about 5 to 10 seconds. All right. Lift for your door panel. Same way. Two-tone with the wood trimming. This is a five passenger vehicle, two in the front and three in the back. And they all have over the shoulder belts, including the middle row passenger, which use these belts right here. Okay, um, if you don't have a middle row passenger, you can flip this down and use it as a cup holder, armrest, and also has storage. And you have uh, access to the back through that door there. You get also anchors for your baby car seat. There are two on each side, so you can place your baby car seat. These seats can also uh, be pulled down to go into cargo mode. Okay. And you can do one side and not the other. It's what we call a 60-40 seat. 40% on this side, 60% on that side. You have also curtain side airbags here in the rear. And 
You get AC vents in the back of the center console as well as, an, as, well as another cigarette lighter adapter for your chargers. And that, that down there is another pocket, okay? All right, let's go ahead and um, come around to the power tailgate. All right, uh, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. To open the tailgate, you can just squeeze here as long as the vehicle is unlocked. Or you can open it from the switch at the door I showed you earlier or from the remote control. All right, this is your cargo area. And you also have a privacy cover. You slide it back here and put it in these slots on the side here. And it hides your belongings, okay? You also have storage down here, okay? Uh, to close your tailgate, we can do it right from here. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. These are the parking sensors I was telling you. There are two on each side of the bumper. Those are the ones that beep when you approach another vehicle or object, and you have those also in the front bumper. 18 inch aluminum wheels, four wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors, anti lock brakes, matching Michelin tires. They're not new, but they're still in good shape. Right rear door panel. Give you a look at the headliner. I haven't done that yet. I left the moonroof open. The portion of the back looks darker because you got one moonroof on top of the other. But normally, when you slide it forward, it's a little clear, much easier to see through. Okay, let's come around to the passenger front. Right front door panel. I'm sure by now you noticed that the panels don't have any cuts, tears, burn holes, cracks on the wood, scratches on the panels. None of the speaker covers are cracked. As I said before, you got power seat, recliner, and lumbar support, not only on the driver's side, but also on the passenger side. Okay, before we conclude this video, I want to talk to you about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such a good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, Right on the home page, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.